This tutorial looks at questions 2 and 3 from the June 2003 spreadsheet tasks. This table here, under the heading Insurance table, some of this is what we're going to name from question 2. Then we've got in the main part of the spreadsheet, the main data table, where we're going to put some formulas in these last four columns. The data that I've got here in columns A to, to D in the main table, I've actually gone ahead and input from question 12. Nowadays, all this data would be there to get you started and you're left to fill in the details with formulas. But back in 2003, you had to create the spreadsheet from scratch. So what we do is we highlight the range of cells in the insurance table that contain the actual data. So everything except for the column headings and then obviously the name of the table itself. So it's cells A4 down to B9. Then up here in the name box, click that, type INS and press enter to apply. Notice that if you click any of the single cells in that range, the name of the cells remains the same, A4, B6, B8, etc. But when we highlight this range of cells again, it's now called INTS and we can use this in a formula. Question 3. In the main table in the cell under insurance rate, that's the cell here, E12, enter a formula using lookup. This formula looks up the INTS in the insurance table over here using the category. And notice we've got here category column in the main table and another category column at the top. The way the VLOOKUP formula works is that it needs two columns, hence the vertical and VLOOKUP, two columns that are used as a bit of a reference table. For this economy car in row 12, what we want Excel to do with this VLOOKUP formula is look up what category A means in the lookup table. Category A up here is 0 0.1, so we should expect 0 0.1 to be returned by Excel in the cell E12. If we went down to Jeep Wrangler, we'd want Excel to look, find out what the category for the Jeep is, it's category D. Excel then is going to compare what category D means up here with the second column, 0 0.25. So if we get this right, 0 0.25 should appear in this cell, E17. So what we need to do first of all is click in the cell where we want our answer to initially appear. Remember, you only have to type the formula once, then we can get Excel to copy that formula down to the rest of the column. On the Formulas tab, go to Insert Function, and if VLOOKUP is not in this list here, type it up there and press go, but as you can see I've got it here so I'm going to click it then click OK. Now we need to use this wizard to help us create the formula. The lookup value. We go back to the question. We have question 3. In the main table in the cell under insurance rate that tells us where to put our answer, enter a formula using lookup that tells us what formula to use, what function. Now. This formula looks up the ints in the insurance table using the category. What this means is this. The lookup value, we want to, in the same row where we want our answer to appear, click in cell A12. That's the category. The lookup value is only ever one cell. Then we click in the table array and we highlight that range of cells that we re named earlier and we can see INTS appears as our table array. Now a column index number, we want Excel to return this column of values. So that's column 2. Column 1 would be ABC, etc. Column 2 would be these numbers for the insurance rate. So we're going to type column 2, or numeral 2, here. Now press OK. 0 0.1 appears in this cell because for this particular car, comes under category A, 
and Excel has seen that category A in the reference table up here outputs 0 0.1 for the insurance rate, so 0 0.1 there. If we now fill that formula down to the rest of the cells, we can check it. Our Jeep Wrangler again was category D. Category D up here is 0 0.25 for the insurance rate, and sure enough, 0 0.25 is down here in column E for the Jeep Wrangler. And that's it for the V lookup formula.